Jared, what's it mean to you, your first couple days of training camp, your college coaches come on and make a commitment to, to kind of see you off almost? Uh, that just shows everything we've been through. It's a lot of love. I have a lot of love for them. And I mean, I wouldn't be in the position I'm in without them, so I'm very thankful for those guys. How did your first practice go here? Was it was it everything kind of you thought it was going to be harder, easier? How did how would you evaluate? I mean, it? it was great. I mean, it's a learning experience for me. It's my first training camp, so I took it all in. I was enjoying it. You know, it's a dream come true to be in the position I'm in. Garrett, how in terms of what they're throwing at you and, and and the things that you have to learn, how much of it is does it feel different to you, and how much of it is stuff that you're pretty familiar with? Um, I'm just, I got familiar with it throughout the summer, just being around the guys and being around the gym a lot and just talking to coaches and stuff, so I'm getting pretty familiar with everything. Does it feel like your head's swimming at all or do you feel pretty comfortable right now? Uh, not too much. Coach wants to let us play. He wants us to play fast and be ourselves out there, so that's, that's what it kind of is. How was the experience last night uh, going to Glenn's house and having that having that dinner? Uh, was that anything like like anything you did when you were at Texas Tech? Uh, it was a special moment for us and our team just to be able to go to his house and all. It's, it's good team bonding as well. So just to learn about Glenn and his experience and how he became the owner and stuff like that, him telling his story, I felt like it was good for us. Something seems like one where they really want the wings to cut a lot. Um, especially with Cat having the ball the key. Is that something that you've done a lot of in your career? Yeah, I've, uh, I've played off of players and being able to play off a of Cat and when he facilitates, be able to cut off of him and you know help him out and create more space for him, I feel like I do a good job of that. What's the key to being a good cutter? Being a good cutter, cut hard and finish your cuts. Hey, thank you, Jared. Good. Thanks, Jared. Thank you, Jared.